four and two. I've got 11 superior smile at an each way basis from number one come play with me all class. Uh, four Western Temple is your favourite and two Missile Launch just needs to handle the track. A great race, 11, one, four and two. 11, one, four and two. No doubt in my mind the best back runner is number five, Divine Shadow, 21 into five. This is a serious go in the Coolgardie Cup. This horse is now 50 days between runs. Here's Dave Sheehan for the call of the Coolgardie Cup. Fair scenario for Matty Derrick. Goes up, pushing shapes, comes along. In those famous colours. Of course, Northerly carried those colours there. So we're waiting on Western Temple and Divine Shadow to come along. Divine Shadow drawn the outside. Toy Turner has them out. So it should be a great uh, running here of the Hunt Electrical Coolgardie Cup. Of course, a fortnight's time we have the Boulder and Campbell Cups. Now, Divine Shadow about to come along, trained by Brett Pope. And Troy Turner in the saddle. Start from the outside. So Western Temple has ideally drawn gate number three for Kiri Yule. So we're almost set. Stand by. Missile launch drawn in close. Now Lord help me run. It comes along. Red lights are on. Lord help me run. Is in their set. Off and racing in the Kulgadi Cup. Missile launch got out well. Fair Sonari ridden hard, looking for the lead. I think it's going to take over. Superior Smile is going up there and also showing speed as pushing shapes around the outside. Missile launch is going to drop just behind them. And then a further length then to Western Temple. Well placed midfield. Gangbusters a little bit wide from Lord Help Me Run. Then come play with me, Divine Shadow. And about four lengths back there to Friar Fox, who must have done something wrong out of the gates. Well, over towards the back they run and Fair Sonari takes it up for Matty Derrick in the Kulgardi Cup leads by two lengths pushing shapes gets to second as they go inside the 1200 then the big show perfectly poised he's on the inside third Superior Smilers fourth on the outside for Chris Parnham missile launches over on the inside then a further one and a half to Western Temple is over on the outside of come play with me gangbusters wide Lord help me runs in the centre a break of two lengths off in the field of Divine Shadow second last and Friar Fox is at the tail 800 metres left to go in the cup and it's Fair Sonari in front rolling along by two pushing shapes on the outside the big show's had a good run they're starting to up tempo over on the outside Superior Smile then came Missile Launch he's looking to get away from the inside Western Temple then Gang Buster come play with me sneaking up on the inside before the bend then a further one and a half to Friar Fox Lord Lord help me run. It is a mile back with Divine Shadow. They come around the corner and Fair Sonari out in the lead. Shows the way by two lengths as they balance up over on the outside. Superior Smile. Then came Push and Shapes. Western Temple down the outside. Inside the 200. Superior Smile has gone up. Here's Western Temple on the outside letting go. From the back is Divine Shadow. Western Temple. Superior Smile. Western Temple hit the lead and Western Temple wins the Colgardi Cup. Flooding home. Friar Fox. Divine Shadow, Superior Smile was back on the inside. They were followed by Come Play With Me, Lord Help Me Run, The Big Show, Fair Sonari, Pushing Shapes, Missile Launch and Gangbuster. Western. Western Temple. Now, what a story this has been. I think that Andrew Ingalls, the new owner here for Western Temple, three starts ago after the Eurythmic Stakes when beaten five lengths by Utgard Loki, went through one of Bob and Sandra Peters' dispersal sales and Andrew Ingalls paid $23,000 for this horse. He's now won a Coolgardi Cup, so that's 59000 to the kitty. Before that, he ran one length behind Massimo in a 78 plus and one length behind Massimo in a 78 plus. So if you look, take those two in town runs, he's probably won 40,000 and then another 60 today. So they've turned 23,000 into 100,000 in only three races. Peter Fernie, an absolute genius with these tried horses. And it's Western Temple that wins the Coolgardie Cup of 2020 over 1,760 metres. Kiri Yule riding for Peter Fernie. Number four scores from seven in Friar Fox. Now watch this in replay. This is some sort of run from this mare. She would not go an inch out of the gates for, uh, for Sean O'Donnell. He had the whip out. I think he probably used two of his uh, six whip strikes. 
after about 50 metres. She's flown through the field to actually grab second on the line. Just ahead of number five, Divine Shadow, who was heavily commissioned. And then number 11, next best in Superior Smile. Crescane's on top selection at $13. That gave punters at home a really good run for their money. But it's uh, Peter Fernie that scores in the Coolgardie Cup. Four, seven, five and 11. We'll grab Peter Fernie for a bit of a word here, Peter. Andrew Ingalls, a big supporter of yours and a big owner of horses in this region. Did you think that you could win the race today? Oh, we we're pretty confident, but we just uh, he's got a lot of tricks and we were hoping if he didn't travel and get on a firmer track and Kira rode him absolutely perfect. So we're always scared. Everyone reckons he doesn't finish it off, but he finished it off great today. What about the first two runs? They were sensational. They were really good. The other day, I, he did hit that bad patch at Belmont and he lost his footing. I think he got... Uh, I think he would have run a lot closer. I don't know if he would have beat Massimo. It's a very good horse. Now, I don't like uh, spruiking wrong information. I've said that they paid about 23000 for this horse. Is that about right? I don't care now. Doesn't matter to you. No. Where does he go next? Is it a Boulder Cup or is it back to a Hannans? I don't know. We'll just have to have a talk about it and see where we're going to go. Does it matter to you? No, it doesn't worry me. <laughs> Congratulations, Peter. Well done. Thanks, Scotty. He's really happy here, Peter Fernie. Doesn't get very emotional, Mr. Peter Fernie, but he's pretty happy with that. Kiriel, I think he summed that up perfectly. Rode this horse an absolute treat today, Western Temple. Chris Parnham weighs in fourth with Superior Smile, who gave a really good kick. I'm interested to hear the thoughts of Sean O'Donnell as to just what happened with Friar Fox out of the gates because she wouldn't go a yard. In fact, we're on the way to the mount, to the uh, to the scales here, so I might even grab Sean on his way through and see what happened there with Friar Fox because she was some sort of a run. We'll let Kira Yule go and weigh in before uh, we get her for a word because otherwise the stewards will get pretty angry here. Four, seven, five and 11. It's Western Temple who scores in the Coolgardie Cup of 2020. Sean O'Donnell just taking his saddle off. I'm sure he'll have a chat to uh, to, to Justin Erklund's there with Friar Fox because she was first up today, Friar Fox. She was uh, 50 days between runs. Didn't go a yard early. In fact, we might bit caught between trying to get hold of Kira Yule and Sean O'Donnell. Uh, Kira Yule for the good interview, but Sean O'Donnell probably for the more inter interesting one. So we'll, we'll, grab, uh, we'll grab Kira here and maybe if Crashane can help me, he can grab Sean O'Donnell when he gets, comes through because that'd be an interesting story. But uh, Kira, talk us through the run. Yeah, look, you know, that's the one we came for today and um, Pete's been fantastic for the season, so I'm right to finally get one on him. But I wanted to actually be a length further forward, but he jumped a little bit tardy today. Just can't panic on the horse. He's just he's one of those horses, really. So he only just gets the trip, I think. Um, but I'll leave that up to him with where he goes next. And yeah, just happy to get the win. What about the other day behind Massimo? He looked like he was home for all money, and then the 150 metre marker seemed to get hold of him. Yeah, look, the leader the other day always hangs out, and I was a bit dubious what to do, and I ended up in popping out. Probably popped out a little bit early. Probably got going on him a bit early, but probably wasn't enough to get him beat as such. But should have finished a lot closer. But um. No, he's come through that run and, yeah, won today, which is great. If Peter Fernie's trying to make a decision, 2100 of a Boulder Cup or 1400 back to a Hannans, would you push him either way? Look, my job's to turn up on a Wednesday and Saturday and gallop him when they need me to and uh, turn up race day. Oh, honestly, he's a very good trainer. He knows his horses. I'll leave that to him. Here are you all running for the Liberal Party here. What about the last you ever ride? Yeah, pink and grey, Willie's horse. Better not stuff that one up. No. <laughs> have, you been have you been watching Willie over on the east? Yeah, look, he's going super over there and um, obviously riding Bob's horses. Yeah, he should be very happy with himself. Congratulations, Kira. It's a cool guardy cup. Well done. Thank you. There's Kira Yule. It's a cool guardy cup for Western Temple here. The numbers at Kalgoorlie, 4, 7, 5 and 11. We tried to grab Sean O'Donnell for a word on, on Friar Fox. He's actually going to weigh in and come back. But maybe we can play that, uh, that interview with him to see what happened with Friar Fox before we get race number eight here at Kalgoorlie. But for now, our Sky Thoroughbred Central audience are off to a break. She's just sitting in there. When she steps, she just feels like glue. Yeah. And I've had to whack her three times before yeah, yeah. the first hundred. So I've lost. 